Listen, man, this is Willow Wednesdays. It's a live episode. We about to turn the fuck up. We got the ever so beautiful ladies from the Girls Night Podcast. It's about to be a vibe. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. Yo, 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 yo. What is the word? What up? What's going on? What up? Chilling? What up? I mean, you keep saying what up, so I'm going to take that as you chilling. I'm, I'm alive. Can't complain, playboy. So, man, it's another fucking Willow Wednesdays. We here. It's a vibe. We have some very special guests here with us tonight. Absolutely. And we about to turn the fuck up. I like this. I like yes, this. Yes, I don't yes, know about yes, you, yes, but yes. me personally, I like it. Yes, I do too. We've you want to introduce ourselves? or We have been getting in trouble a lot in the comments from people saying that we don't have any female guests and no female opinions on things. Y'all still have this problem. Yo. <laughs> Like you don't we, understand. We like, wow misogynistic. Yeah, like I mean okay. we're aggressive. I yeah, mean yeah, 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 which is yeah, you wanna know what's yeah. crazy? We defend right. you. No, we de- I mean no, no, reverse it. We defend <laughs> y'all more than anything. Like I don't understand. Like Dove, you said defend? Yes. All right. I come at niggas left, right, front, and center on this show. He come at niggas left, Pause. right. Pause. Anyway, we know you're I'm, I'm pussy. Like, yeah. <laughs> pause. But we have the beautiful you still gotta say from the Girls' Night podcast in the yes, building. Yes, 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 all that shit, all that good shit, all that good shit, all that 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 shit. <laughs> Listen, um, so so we we gonna we gonna do in uh, individual introductions, or we just gonna rock out as one? Energy. Yeah, you know, individual, individual. Where you want to start, left or right, Willa? Um, so my left, we got Mel, right? Ooh. Tell okay, who so. You are. Hi, um, my name is Melanie. Ooh. What do you want me to say? I am a uh, right. Like, what's the brand what's the basis? strategist? Ooh. Okay, yes. let's talk about it. I own my mm-hmm. own creative studio, Vibrant <laughs> Creative Studio. Please follow that on Instagram. Ooh, you saw the look off. Do you see the look <laughs> 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 Right, you see the hand grabs, the air grabs. She, she's got, the look got me. Off. Right, uh, God got me. You know, that's that's it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So then, mm. moving on from that greatness, we have some more greatness. Mm. Um, she goes by the name of Ren. How we doing? Hi. Um, <laughs> I'm so nervous now. <laughs> Hi. So my name is Ren. Um. Come on now. Fuck I be doing. I be singing. I be DJing. I be, you know what I'm saying. It's funny as shit on Instagram. This is overall I'm dope. Getting, I'm this... getting I'm funny on Instagram. Funny shit. <laughs> funny shit. So I'm fake a comedian now. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Heard um, it. My cash app is Ren Jones with two S's. E- wow. <laughs> hey, <huh>? Wow. <laughs> I'll say that. Amen. I'm a creative. Okay, so moving on from the Cash App slash greatness slash <laughs> everything she embodies, we got Ashley over here, so, uh, aka Bashley. If you want to know where the name came from, you got to tune into previous episodes. But oh Ashley, God. talk to us, man. All right, so my name is Ashley. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm bald. I'm black. <laughs> I got a yellow one. Yes. That's what's happening right now. Right okay. now. Yeah. For now. For now. So okay. what's happening right now. Okay. Okay. Good things. It's right. going to come. Right. Mm. Feel me? So mm-hmm. um, I'm just me <laughs> in this world That's a fact. now. That's a fact. You heard what she said. That's what I'm I, I respect it. 
That's me. Right. Yeah, yeah. In this world. And then to the to is that is that to the right or the left? I don't know. But to my right, Ashley's left. We have another baddie. His name is. Wow. <laughs> another baddie. Like this left arm is strong as shit, bro. I will punch you. you. Wait, you're a lefty? No, but oh. I'll punch. Listen, oh. Bari, Bari started going to the gym two and a half weeks ago, and since then, <laughs> he thinks, <laughs> nah, like, been he's the just nah, he been he like the strongest month. nigga. Right. Bari been in the gym pre-COVID. That's true. Right. First oh, of all, you're not okay. Gonna, you're not going to bust out on um, Bari. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna you. My bad, my yeah, bad, yeah, my yeah, bad, yeah, my bad. You're not about to come at Bari Chestnut, okay? Barry Chestnut. Hello. My son, Barry Chino. Chestnut. Chino. Yo, mediator, Chino. moderator, Chino. roll call, Chino. selective Chino. stitching, temporary lover, always toxic, Barry Chino. Chestnut. Right. Can we, can we <laughs> what the fuck we talking about tonight, bro? I'm sorry. Um, 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 you gave him another name. I just want you to know you gave him another name. Yes, wrong, that... that that name is gonna stick with me forever. I would have never called you that. Oh my god! No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. He took shots. I didn't have a turtleneck on. No, so he he took some headshots and he posted like some professional ass pictures. Right? Exactly. I was like, okay, Barry Chestnut, I see you. I know I'm not getting it. I'm Barry Chestnut. It's Barry now. I get it. Yo! One thing is, you gave him another name. I said, oh, it's, it's better than shit. Like, all that toxic shit. Right. My shit. son, Barry Chestnut, heard it. I'm trying to lose names. <laughs> okay, <laughs> got it. I have more. <laughs> you forgot about it. He said, this is a new one. Ammunition. <laughs> My son, Barry Chestnut, heard it. Okay. Oh what God, we, yo, what we talking about tonight, Barry <laughs> Chestnut? <laughs> Come on, Barry Chestnut. Shut up. I almost cursed at you. Anyway, we are talking about what advice would you ladies give a man in a relationship? Last week, I don't know if anybody saw. If you didn't, you fucked up. We gave all the ladies advice who were in a relationship well, to help them out when dealing with their man, their partner, whomever it may be. So now we need you to do the same thing for the men. What advice would you give a man in a relationship? So that's one. Another topic that I was pressed about from other ladies. How long would you wait before you give a man some pussy? You guys are going wow. on dates. He takes you out. You like him. He smells good. He opens your door for you. Mm -hmm. I'm saying he brushes his teeth. No, 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 no. That's a big thing because I know some niggas who don't bathe and brush their teeth. Ha. Why are they, they people that you know? I know them. I'm saying I'm, I'm cool with them. I know them. them. Legit, I know them. Valid yeah, question. It is. You know what I'm saying? They pay the bill every time. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so they compensate because they stink. I don't know. Okay. We'll saying, get into that. We'll get into that. Bad, sorry. We'll get into but that. how long do you wait before you get this mess of pussy? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to talk about the Olympics. Shikari Richardson. I know this man. I'm so pissed. I'm I'm pissed the fuck off about that. <laughs> but you know what? I hold it down. Yeah, you did. Okay. I'm I'm gonna hold it down. Okay, okay cool. But Willa, I got I got I I I I, I got something to, to talk to you about real quick. Um, yeah. So, how do you feel about piercings on genital areas? Piercings on genitalia. Yes. You mean from men or from women? For a woman, bro. Why would I keep my phone? Oh no, that that shit is beautiful. It, that, that that's beautiful to me. It's beautiful. That shit is it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Like yes, I I invite that. I encourage that. If you're so open and free to have it, the who the fuck am I to talk down on it? So so what's the name? I forgot the name. What's it? Metal what? Metal, Metal Crotch. Crotch. So there's somebody on the panel right now whose name is Metal Crotch. Oh, Metal Crotch. Okay. Right. Meaning, aka, their, okay. their vagina is pierced. Okay. 
the clitoris is pierced. Correct. Okay. And uh, I was I was taken back a little bit because <laughs> I I in my twenty nine years of life have never dealt with or seen in front of me a woman with a. Oh, you gotta live a little, bro. You gotta live a little. You gotta just live live a little bit. <laughs> <I> <laughs> You gotta live a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's okay though. Basically, I'm a basic. Uh, it's, okay, it, it, it's okay. It's uh, okay. What, what I will say, what I will say is that that is that is an amazing thing. Um, it, it's just the toy that you add to. You know, the action is 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 nice. There's nothing wrong with it. Wow. Okay. It's like seeing something just saying. Like this. Yeah, it, it put it put a little. It's like salt bay. It's, it's just, you know what I mean? Just a sprinkle it on the top of it. It make everything better. I never seen that. But you've different. seen a picture of it, or... like you know, porn. You see oh, a girl with a pierced clit or or a picture or whatever, mm-hmm. right? But I've never like in person, like face to face. You know, you about to eat the pussy, and it's like, all right. Adornment. <laughs> Adornment. <laughs> Decoration. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. A whole earring. Whole. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, not, you gotta live a whole little. You gotta live a little, bro. Ornaments, ornaments, ornaments. Yeah. Uh, ornament. on the pussy. Yeah, it make the tree look better. Oh, you feel me? Like, like it really is. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Listen, listen, man. That was cute. Oh my god. Bye, Barry, Barry, yo, Barry, yo, make it late. You said what? Okay. What you said? Okay. It make it it make it leak. It makes it leak. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh, okay. I said lit. I said lit. 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 L-I-T. Lit. I'm like, I don't know about that leak shit. It makes it leak? I don't know if they know that. Girl. Oh, that's that's like a, a car with a bad carburetor. Like make it leak. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> but listen, let's, let's, let's I'm gonna say this story. though. Um, wait, wait, wait. Before we go there, what I got a little game to play. Okay. Yeah, I always, you know, no, 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 no. It's not that. But at the same time, um, for those who didn't watch the last episode with the Girls Night podcast and the Willow Wednesday crew, we had a game then. I just felt it was right to introduce a game now. Um, so as men, we have a saying, we have multiple sayings, right? It's, it's either it grinds your gears or, I mean, it, 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 it's just something that annoys you to the fullest, right? And because now we finally have women that are here that can speak their mind on certain things. I have a game that is called What Dries Your Box? Yeah. Oh, what dries it up? Oh, dries it up. Yeah. What dries your box? I mean, Uh interesting. So I'm going to read out a couple of scenarios. I would like the women that are here tonight to let us know as men what dries your box more. We I feel ready like for this game? Needs theme music, right? <laughs> this is a great game. I like it already. Do, 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 yeah, yeah. What do, what dries your box? You know? What dries your box? What dries your box? Starring. And Ashley, and with your host Barry and Willa. Tune in for what dries. We ready for the first one? God, yeah. let me hear this. I want to hear this. Okay. <laughs> so the first one, a man that has a car but no crib or a crib but no car. What is your box? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I ran raise her hands first. Shut up, Barbara. got nothing to do with you. I just said who and who going first. <laughs> Um, I guess uh, a guy with a car but no crib. Mm -hmm. I guess that would drive my box because it's like, where are you living? (laughs) I have a question. 
When we say no crib, what do we say? Like, like no place he's, to live? He, he, no, no, no. He's, he's living with someone. His mom, a, a roommate, whatever, a family member, whatever the case may be. Yes. Yeah. No. No. Own no. His home or rent his yes. Own exactly. Yes. Okay. 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 I, okay. I stand by my answer. Okay. Um, I would want you to have a roof over your head other than a car. I mean, if we live in New York City, okay. you know what I'm saying? <sighs> we could get around, but yeah, it still stands. I want you to have some a uh, 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 a roof over your head. Uh huh. Come on, Ashley. You was next. Um, Talk to me. I think I would have to go with the same answer, mm. only because that's my status now. So I feel like Talk I have shit. my own space. Talk your you shit. Your own Meet me where I'm at. Right. Talk to me. Meet me halfway. I would say with the car. But honestly, if you have, and, but you know what? Honestly, on the other side, that wouldn't really dry it up either. I think I would be, I would want to do some even more naughty stuff because of family members. Oh, Ashley's a freak. <laughs> okay, Mel. Um, uh, um, you know the logical one. Get to the logical one right. last. Yeah, should have left Ashley for last. Right. <laughs> um, crib and no car, or car and no, no crib. crib. Yes, ma'am. This is hard. <laughs> it's New York City. I just feel like it's hard. I just feel like in New York City. If I was a girl who was still dating, if I were a boy, and mm. I had a suitor, I <laughs> a suitor, and my, and you know my suitor had a car mm. and no crib, mm. and when we say no crib, we're saying this person doesn't either own a home his own crib by himself, his own spot. His his he lived with his family, basically. He lived with his family. Or you can't walk around butt booty naked all day. Like, you gotta, like, legit, like... Yeah, at 31, I'm asking questions. Okay. At 31, I'm asking questions. True. But you gotta ask questions, though, right? Because, mm -hmm. again, being 31 in New York City... And a millennial. We're still millennials. Yeah. Technically, We're yeah. still very much fuck nine to fives. We're doing our own thing. Yep. So I have to see where your mindset is at. If you want a path to doing some crazy shit and it's legit crazy shit, like not just, oh, I'm doing X and X and you're not doing shit, then I might ride with you. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So that doesn't dry your box. Yeah. It doesn't. Because ambition gets me wet. Yeah. Ooh. Right. Mm. See, a plan. A man yeah. with a plan. Yeah. And he and a real plan, not real plan. bullshit. Like right. a real plan. Like I need to see business plans. I need to see strategies. That's what I need to see. Yep. Shit written out. You feel me? Like facts. That. Okay. 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 That, 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 that's that's that. You know what? That's I a, think it's, it's different for us because being living in New York. You don't you know necessarily, right, you know yeah. the struggle, and then on top of that, people still trying to figure out, even in our 30s, trying to figure out what, what they really, really want to do. Right. So technically, not a lot of people are in a position where they can, I, right, I'm going to move out and start, and get my own little spot for my place. Because to get a corner in New York City costs about $5,000. Right, okay. and then you lucky if you happen to get someone who knows somebody for the cheap. All right. Yep. So and you really, the last right. so I mean, but if it's a place like maybe Georgia, People would have been like, oh, no, if you, if you don't different. got it. Yeah, it's, it's different. different. It's different. Right, eat. because over there, you're more accessible to having your own crib Shit, at a young man. age. Oh, very young. But us, if you have an own crib at a young age, you're like, wow, how the hell you got that? You got and their money. first thing they're right. asking is, what happened to your parents? That's because why, it's not normal. That's why I said, like, since we're in New York, I'm basing that on, like, my experience on New York. Like, I would rather you, like, have a fucking roof over your head than a fucking car. Like, Facts. Because it's like, all right, you got a car. Where you living at? Yeah, I'm not pressed about a car. I'm not pressed right. about a car because yeah. I, I get to you like we we, we, we can do this. I'm a yeah. so I know how to travel. I know how to. I got this. Cool, 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 cool. So that so that was the first one. Here comes the second one. Talk to me. Going out with an indecisive man, or being asked to split the bill on the first date. What drives your box? I know my answer already. I'm going to let Mel go first because she already she know her answer. answer. 
I'm gonna split the bill, but I'm never gonna date you again. <laughs> Mel said that she's gonna she, split she the said bill, that. but I said never what I said. go on your date again. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm. I, I just want to see you. What are we talking about? Um, I guess for me, what was it? Uh, an indecisive man. Uh huh. You, you you know for a fact that you and homie about to go out, but he has not laid the plan down. You don't know what the fuck about to happen. He all over the place, but it's a plan. Uh-huh. Or a man that makes the plan, but then acts to split the date on the first date. So um, I'm going to say um, a guy with no plan because that's happened to me. Like we didn't have a plan, but I'm a spontaneous person. So that's not like a, a big thing for me. Like. All right, we ain't got a plan. Like, all right, where, where, where you like to go? Where I like to go? You want to? You really? Okay, cool. Like, I'm I'm off the rip like that. So I would rather a guy without a plan because it's like, I'm for me, I'm usually like an unplanned person. My shit is spontaneous, so that works for me. Okay, 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 okay. that's valid. Ashley, talk to me. So for me, um. I honestly feel like I probably I probably would want a man to have a plan more because in my experience I've had it where they didn't have no plan. They was just like they just want to wing it, and when they wing it, they don't go nowhere. It's just back in the crib or just chilling. So I never really get the opportunity to date or really experience that. So I would prefer someone who has a plan. They actually have everything laid out. You know exactly what's going to happen. What's this? What's that? Because usually I would create like a, a actual plan and be like, oh, wait, maybe we should do this and maybe we should do that. They leave it up to me because it's like they want to take me out. Let me do something that I want to do. Mm. It's like, no, if you want to take me out, let's do something that you want to do and see if you intrigue me enough to want to do it again. So it's, would you rather somebody that would have that, want to link up with you but don't have that plan or got to split plan the bill. and split the bill? So true say I always I always carry my vex money with me. So you got to no, got you you got to keep your vex money. money. I carry my vex money with me because at the end of the day it's like I'm not going to First of all, when I'm going out, I make sure that I get stuff that I personally can't afford. I'm not going to do nothing out of the ordinary. And then if we got to split the bill, I know I can cover my share. Of course. That's that's just what well, it is. What would make your pussy dry? I don't know. Because I've already experienced that where someone took me out. You got to pick one. They, they swiped their card. Oh. I kid you not. At least eight times. It declined? It declined. It declined. Oh, and shit. I kissed my teeth. I pushed my throat. I said, here. That's crazy. That's embarrassing. How did we even go? That's mad embarrassing. And it was it was just to the movies. And he swore up and down. I was like, yeah, uh-huh. I was like, you want popcorn? So you want a soda? Wow. wow. So it. So that was a man with the plan with no money. Right. <laughs> so it was just like it wasn't hey, fellas, even it wasn't even done. Fellas, 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 can I go? Go we gotta do better, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. If I know I'm bro, going somewhere, better, and, and 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 I may not have it. Let's say I still gotta go out with you because you just that fire to me, and 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 and, and we gotta go on a date. I'm hitting up the homies, even if, it, and it sounds nuts, yo, bro, I need to cash out. Let me get a $20, bro. Yo, let me get a $20, bro. I'm taking this fire shorty out, and I cannot not have no bread on me. And nine times out of ten, your mans, if they really your friends, they'd be like, all right, I got you. We, fellas, you should not on God's green earth on a date ever have. But that was like can that I, was years ago, and, can I and my I haven't answer? been really. I, I, the, the, my answer is what would make my pussy drier mm-hmm. is splitting the bill. What I would rather is somebody. I would rather, mm-hmm. um, but what would dry my pussy is splitting the bill? Yeah, definitely. On the on the first. Hey, Ren, yeah. that's valid. That's valid. You got another question, Willa? Um, I got two more, but I'm going to ask one so we can get to the actual topics. Okay, so what drives your box more? An individual that's too clingy or individual that shows no emotion? 
what drives your box more? You thought about this at work, didn't you? Come on, man. Listen, yo, listen. You gotta, you gotta understand that. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm nice like that. You feel me? Like, you feel me? Like. But too clingy or shows no emotion. What drives your box? Talk to me. I just feel like these questions are so unfair. Right. I said, wow. Like, who's going you got to pick one. Ren, Ren got Ren going first. Talk to me. Uh, what would drive my box more is a guy that shows, like, no emotion. To you? To me, yeah. So the clinginess wouldn't... The clinginess, um... I think I could deal with that and then maybe talk with them like, hey, like, mm. but I feel like a guy, <laughs> right, I feel like a guy that's, that's not showing me that he's like, you know, into me or whatever, that would, it would bother you more. that would drive my box, that would drive my box. I get, I feel like, I guess with the clingy guy, like, okay, you into me. You can manage it. Yeah, it's just like, all right, let's, 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 let's. Let's kind of organize this kind of a little bit. Let's organize the clinginess. We don't saying? always got to be I am. Like, I agree. I, I feel like a, a, a person that doesn't show me any type of emotion or love, mm -hmm. that's going to be dead. That's for real. Because I'm a person, I need to feel that from you. Mm -hmm. Right. A person who's too clingy, yeah, I'll probably just have to be like, okay, we can show our right. emotions for each other in different ways. Right, exactly. Let we me, don't let always have to you. see each other. We right. can channel it differently. We right. can right. text. Right. We can, you know, I, I go like, on a date. But I feel like if you try to do that with like a person that doesn't show emotion at all, they're just gonna be, it's gonna be a fight back. Correct. Like, yeah. Absolutely. It's just how I am. Because they're not familiar with the emotion. Yeah. So. Because they got yeah. their traumas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, don't do that. I have traumas. Too. Don't do that. <laughs> not, no, everybody does. Everybody does. Everybody everybody right. You know, there's different trauma. traumas that, that trigger, me, different people can deal with. I can't deal with the show no love trauma. That I can't deal with. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, that, I'm, 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 I'm too old for that. It's deep. I feel I, like if I was younger, I would have dealt with that. that. You know what I'm saying? It is, it is, yeah. I'm fucking 32. Like, you better show me that you all my motherfucking body because I'm going to show you that. Ooh, the if I like you, trauma is, is a little truth. different. The clingy, I, I feel like I, with the clingy, I can kind of manage that and I can feel like I can understand that. But with the, because I dealt with both, you feel me? Like, not with an overly clingy person, but somebody that was very affectionate towards me and then somebody that was just chilling, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I, I could deal with the person that was on me more than the person that wasn't on me. Because with the person that wasn't on me like that, I communicated like, hey, like, I need I, I, I like to be, like, touched and stuff. And they're just like, oh, this is who I am. You know what I mean? So it's like, mm. all right. What's it. crazy is that both of those traumas stem from the same, same place. Thing. Yeah. It's uh -huh. both abandonment. You know, uh, both of them. You were actually right. It's crazy. Right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is true. It's true. So you can answer. Um, I need you to talk to me. Well, I've never really had both in the sense. Well, actually, I never. I've never. Yeah, I never really had both in the sense of someone was really clinging to me, and then someone showing absolutely no emotion. I've really been in the middle. However, in terms of no emotion, I agree with the rest of them. You can. I'm true. I'm a very affectionate person. You cannot sit here and try to fuck with me, want to be with me, and then it's just like, you're just you're just there, like furniture. I'm not trying to fuck with that. Mm -hmm. Because if I show you love, I, I want that. it back. I believe in reci reciprocity. Like, really, like, reciprocate like that Lord energy. Yes, exactly. Sure. Like, on, for, no. <laughs> I ain't mad at this shit. No, no. Reciprocity. But no, but it's true Rest because, because Rest here's the thing, right? Rest. At the end of the day, I feel like if I like you, I'm gonna show you that. And mm -hmm. then if you show me that I like you, I'm gonna show it to you more. We have to match each other the same way. If you don't show me love, me. I'm more than likely because I'm more of a lover than a fighter. I'm gonna show you love, I'm gonna embrace you. But at the same time, because you don't show love, that means you're resisting me, and I'm gonna eventually pull away from that. And I'm gonna yes. more than likely this have a talk is, and be like, you know, this is not working. what's going? No, not even this is working. I'm gonna ask him like, what's going on? Because it's like I show you love, but you're not showing it back to me. And if they can't, 
realize like okay something might be going on or be able to communicate with me and and like let me know what's like why the, they're they're acting like that so we can at least build on that but mm. if they can't open up and show me some kind of love or some honesty and transparency i'm out so, i ain't mad at it fellas do better hey listen we heard it here first okay well, Listen, and we gotta make it do what it do, fellas. Okay. Resonate with us oh, because they I'm on. sure they dealt with someone who is too clingy because being too clingy can be really annoying. It's like, uh, right. like I need my don't space. You, have, that right. don't, you don't have my the next nobody to look at that. else other than I'm me. Gonna, I'm gonna say this real quick as a man, right? Sometimes I don't know if Willa can attest to it, but sometimes as a man, if you feel like you do do something and you're showing trying to show affection and the moment a, a woman Cause you're like, oh, you're doing too much. They pull back it's too scorn, much. It, as a man, it scorns you to be like, you know what? Nah, maybe I'm doing too much. I need to just all the way move back. But then you know, you know but then you know what? It then it goes back on how you communicate that. Cause it's not about just saying you're doing too much. You should just say like, listen. You could do it this way. You could do it this way, so of I can course. be able to receive your love the way I would want on, you to. It takes years of years. Of training and, and mm-hmm. going. Of course, through. I mean it's not going everybody to be has off the gate. Time. No one's yeah. not going to be able right. to communicate that effectively, so their partner could know. 100%. But you 100%. have to learn how to to speak to be able to articulate yourself properly, and also learn how your partner receives information, so y'all could work agreed properly. Hundred percent. Listen, um, that was the end of my game. Like I said, um, I just wanted to ask a couple questions so we can get it started. Um, mediator, moderator, roll call, selective snitching, temporary lover, always toxic, half a gas station pill, big brother Bari. Um, what we talking about tonight, brother? Like, like, talk to me, man. We we had survivors Willow Wednesdays. Let's do it. We're not talking about that today. Okay. Um, don't be mentioning shit we can't talk about. You want to talk about it? No, I don't. Um, okay, cool. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. I want to, I want, since we in this space, I want to start with the ladies giving men in a relationship advice. Oh, wow. No, just, okay. So last week we were just giving women advice on how to deal with a man in a relationship. Like we would say, listen, if that man is being... What he says, believe what he's saying to you because a lot of times women will take what I'm saying to them or me, but I'm just saying in general, you'll hear something a man says and based off of that, you'll make up a whole different scenario in your brain. No, if he's telling you, hey, I don't like this, believe him. Hey, I like this, believe him. He's telling you the truth or give it a, give him a safe space to feel like he can open up to you. Or what up? Different, different things. So now, for men, what advice would you give Let's say I was in a relationship, me, in terms of dealing with... What advice would you give to men that are in relationships, period? Period. Me, Willa, Wade, whomever, Dame, don't matter. What advice would you give? Mm. Um, I know my answer I know my answer already. I know my answer already. And it's very short. But I feel like you can have multiple. Any cool. Any man, if I'm gonna say any person in a relationship, ensure that you are happy. Right? When I say ensure that you are happy, what I'm saying is ensure that you really want to be here. Ensure that. The person that you're on this journey with feels you at all times. Even in the times that you may not be feeling your best self. Even in the times where you don't feel like showing affection. Even in the times when... uh, That's tough. I might want to step out a little something really bad. And sure that you are happy. That's tough. You know why? Why? If you're Speak not happy you. in your relationship, what you gonna start doing? Seeking, looking, 
-hmm. It starts with emotional cheating. What you gonna do? Mm. Text. Call. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Yo, what is this ums about in the back here? Listen, I'm I'm I'm, I'm on your side. I'm listening. I'm, I'm, I'm just hear it. It's giving big church Pentecostal energy. Listen, <laughs> we listen. One one thing, one thing that Willow Wednesdays is is kind of labeled for and blamed for is being misogynistic. That we never have a woman's point of view. So the okay. fact we have three, right. we have three beautiful black women here speaking their truth and, and saying what they think. Listen, I'm on your side right now. Like, talk to us. Yeah. Talk to the man. Yeah, nah, what the fuck sure do we need to you know? You are happy in your situation. That's it. Because here's a yo. I feel like within the okay. So here's my formula for relationships. Oh shit. Right? Within the first two years, everything is fine. Everything is great. True. Everything's amazing. I love you. You love me. We're going on dates. We're going on vacation. It's a fucking vibe, right? Mm -hmm. You see, after them past two years, mm. drama. <laughs> and drama. if you're not drama. able to withstand the bullshit, aka, you're really getting to know this person right. now, the exactly. facades are gone. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, I'm really getting to know you now. If I'm getting to know you now and I don't know if I really like this shit, nigga, leave. Done. Just done it. Then leave. Then I'm fucking done. <laughs> Just done it. Then leave. Just done it. Cause there's nothing worse than staying with somebody and just stringing them the fuck along. Yeah. Leave. Just, just done it. Just okay. Done it. Okay. Do you have any um, advice for men? Um, I feel like I would echo off of Melanie, basically. Just, just make sure that you're happy. I think, I think the main thing is like, because I feel like the the advice I would give to a man is kind of like the advice I would give to anybody in a relationship. Um. Well, yeah, I'm but like just I think just be good with yourself first because that's kind of what I'm doing. And, and no, like, to be honest, I, I I respect that. You you can't be good for somebody else if you're not good for yourself right. first. Like you know what I'm saying? I like I, me, I definitely respect that. I think I there's things that I gotta work on and I have to grow as a person. And it's like I feel like if you're not a hundred percent. This is what my belief right now is, but if you're not 100% confident in who you are as a person, then I don't think you have any business going into a relationship. Like, I really don't. Like, because it's like, you're you're just gonna have insecurities off, off the bat, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's not even gonna have to deal with anything with that person. It could just be within yourself, you know what I mean? And right. it's like, um, or like past experiences. So you, you gotta work through that. You gotta go to therapy. Like, nigga, I got a fucking therapist number right now like you feel what i'm saying so it's like there's things that i i know that i have to work on and, and get a little better at just as a person like with just com how i communicate with my friends how i communicate with people i feel like there's just me i have to get better as a person in general before i could be like a good great person in a relationship so my advice would be like Get good within yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just be 100% confident within yourself. I have a question. Yeah. I agree. Be I agree. Not 100, but at least, like, you know what I'm saying? Just, so. just be yeah. happy with yourself. You can work towards it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just be like, I'm I'm good. Like, you know what I'm saying? And if you feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could deal with somebody else, then okay. But I feel like you should just at least work more on yourself. Mm -hmm. Before you get into a relationship, like, I have another one, but I'm gonna yeah. let Ashley go first. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Ashley, talk to me. Give me All one. Right. So I feel like um, I do agree with both of their answers 100%, right. but along with that, I feel like transparency from a man Shit. needs to come present in a relationship and i'm gonna tell you why and when i say transparency be honest along with yourself uh, as well as with your partner because mm -hmm. what i have seen lately especially in, and these are men that i know i know personally that are in relationships and is like they live a particular lifestyle outside of 
the relationship that they're in right now. And I'm trying, and I've always tried to figure out, and I wonder why. Why is that? And certain things that they're into or either they want to do, they don't want to discuss that with their partner for whatever reason. They either scared to, they don't have the, I guess they don't have the room or the open the free space to be able to communicate properly with their partner to be transparent but instead of actually being honest with them and as well with themselves like yes this is what i want to do or this is what i have done and i want to be able to do this they end up doing it elsewhere not even knowing if their partner even want to be a part of that or if they would want to support it but even if you do, but that's even, that's outside of just that, just like even mm-hmm. just the sexual aspect. I'm talking about just being transparent, period. Because if, even if you're not happy in the situation that you're in, mm-hmm. I think you need to verbalize that. I need you need to say something and say, you know what, you know, I don't feel like I'm happy in this situation right now because of a b c and d a lot of the times people well i'm assuming um a men literally sit there and eat it they just they just they just soak it up they build a wall and it's hard for for guys to even put out their emotions let alone to to be honest because they feel like if they're going to be honest and it's going to come out too blunt it's going to be rude there's always a way to 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 deliver a message however you still need to be real with yourself along with the person that you're with because if you're not going to be true to yourself and Mm -hmm. be happy and let that person know that listen that this is what's going on um i want to be able to change this or can we work it out you're going to end up destroying whatever is even built and keep holding this facade on and on and that's what melanie goes talk about where the drama starts in Mm -hmm. so it's like instead of you the two years la 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 everything is oh happy go lucky and everything Mm -hmm. is good luck and everything's happy we we're we're in love and blah 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 and then two years pass the the honesty comes you start to know the person that you're with and you start to realize wait there's certain things i don't like but instead of you actually saying something at that point, you're like, you know, I'm just brush it off. But can I, can I, can I ask you a question? And the what? question I'm gonna ask is for every one of your topics, right? Um, your yeah, advice. Do you feel like a lot of the times that men are allowed the space to do, be honest with themselves, and 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 be okay with being happy here, or? be telling you hey i'm not fully okay with myself right now mm-hmm. or hey i can't be fully transparent with you do you think that that space is something that's allowed to men for each one of the things that advice that you've given men i feel like there should be because if you chose this should person be, but is it but listen, there should be, and the only reason why I say should, because this should be the standard in a relationship, I assume, Absolutely. especially as an adult. Because if you really choose this person, I feel like you decided to be like equally yoked Absolutely. with the person that you choose. We that don't get like that as men. But but that's what I was going to say. But you I see, would, I wouldn't know that. No, no, no. Of course. No. I'm not saying, and like I said, of course, I'm not saying you guys don't. We do don't get that okay. as men. Mm-hmm. We don't. Open space. But then I feel like and I, you know, I, what I would, happens when you need to say something and feel like, you know, I feel like I can't talk to you or say something to that you. doesn't even go. But we but can't can say that. Right? Do you feel that, that sometimes that people in relationships maybe make like, assumptions that they maybe cannot speak hey, right no, that's both. You know absolutely you're right you're right so you're right sometimes i feel right. like right. shit maybe we should just lay it on the fucking table mm-hmm. and see what the fuck happens from there mm-hmm. now if i lay it on the table and somebody meets me with some bullshit or meets me with some well i don't know what the fuck you're talking about now that no i'm not you know what I'm saying? with that right yeah but you can't call it bullshit okay okay so what I would say is you can't call it bullshit, right? If if you're putting it all on the table and I'm putting it all on the table, you can't say it's bullshit. But I what, if, like what, what if what if what if what if what if I think you misinterpreted what I'm calling bullshit. Let me I, let me yeah, go ahead. let me um explain what I'm calling bullshit. You okay. Jay, let's say all right, so is you, right? Me and you in a relationship and I'm saying Okay. 
I don't. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> and I, and I maybe do. you're saying to me, like, I don't feel like I have a space to be open and transparent with you. about yeah. whatever yeah. it is. And I'm coming to you uh, saying shit like, well, I don't feel like you need to say that or I don't agree with you, la, la, la. If you're being vulnerable with me and the other party, a.k.a. me, can't take that, that's a problem. That's, and that's what she's calling bullshit. Agreed. That's what I'm calling bullshit. Agreed. That's okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing in Willa's sense. I'm not saying, yes, that's what should be the standard, of course, in every relationship, both sides. But a lot of times as men, the moment I want to have a conversation and say, hey, you know what? I'm not happy with it myself first. I'm not therapy-wise or whatever the case may be. I'm not good up here so I can be happy and give you what you want. Mm -hmm. I can't fully be transparent with you because the moment I'm transparent with you, I'm going to take a shot for this. I'm a bitch. I ain't shit. I'm pussy. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, 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 oh, you just don't want to be with me. Or you, you just don't want to. Yes. Oh, oh right. you want to just fuck mad girls. And uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, as a man, it's like, yo, it's not even about that. I don't even feel. It's, bro, I'm just not okay with what you're saying. Or right. Just, I'm not at that point. But the moment is, it's not that I don't want to make you happy. And so to avoid the whole argument and conversation. Yeah. I'm, I'll just eat that, take that L, and just. You know what I'm saying? I think what happens is that uh, as human beings, some people, some people are just not okay with. Like, if we meet somebody and we feel like they're, great, <coughs> but they're telling us, "Hey, right now, I'm not in a good space. I feel like I need time alone." A lot of people don't take that well. Right. 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 Agreed. No, that's I'm gonna say people. people. No, I'm gonna say people. People, people. 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 I, I know. I, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. I'm gonna say people. I'm gonna say people. I have a I'm lot of friends who are men who have dealt with women that, and the women have said, "Hey, I yeah. don't think I'm in a space to be with you a mm-hmm. hundred right now." And I have gotten calls, texts like, "No, this is bullshit." Uh, but I'm but, like, "Is it really bullshit?" No, though? what he feels is different from what he portrays to her. Absolutely. So you, 100%. So you can't be mad at... No. Uh, no, and you gotta friend, be mad, though. No, no, no. If I call my friend and <laughs> yeah. say, yo, this is bullshit, but to you, the girl that I, I was dating, and you say you're not you're not okay, and I'm like, you know what? Cool. Do your thing. Right. At the end of the day, you still did what you need to do for you. I allowed you to grace in the room to do what you need to do for yourself. Now, role reverse. I say to you, yo, I'm not okay with where I'm at and what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, nigga, all you want to do is just fuck these... Fuck pussy out here. Well, da, 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 for fuck me, out of here. I, would fuck I feel pussy. like that. I would, I would that, say that. You see the, do you person, see the difference? In what I I'm see the now. difference, but I also feel like a lot of us have problems with delivery and how yeah, we say yeah, things. Yeah. Wait, 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 so wait, real quick. About, can, can, that's why I say it's all no, about no, but articulating wait. yourself but wait, to wait. your partner so they can understand and receive your message clear. Because if you're just stemming off of a true place, <laughs> but you're just trying to be just calm with it you're trying to just un- make them understand where your position is at mm-hmm. but if they're getting ruffled up i think it's your pos- i think it's for you to just try to dumb it down to be like listen i'm Ain't not no trying to have an argument words. no but you but oh, but know. once they done once they react in a negative way that's how that's what happens in starting an argument because then you bounce back you with the negativity with that love you it's impossible. Yeah. Well, not try. Yeah. But I have. Yeah. You know what I'm it's but, impossible. It's okay, I have a question. Wait, what? Wait. I have a question. Wait, wait, wait. wait bef- before, before your question. Be- before, before your question. Sorry. Before, before question. your question. I would like to hear what Ren was about to say because I feel like it was significant. I, d- I don't know. I could I be wrong. Just, nah, it wasn't that anything significant. I was just going to echo off what I was saying. Um. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Just make sure I, I guess you're 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 good within yourself, or at least like happy within yourself. But it's it's just a mantra that I always go to is uh, be who you want to see. I guess so. It's that's that's be who you want to see. Yeah, be who you want to see. Like if you if okay. if you want this ka 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 person, whatever it is, like you know what I'm saying, at least be somewhat of that like you know what i'm saying like you you this person is supposed to be a mirror of you you know what i'm saying some extension of you then you should 
You should marry that. So be who you want to see. That's all I was gonna, gonna say. This question. Oh Jesus. God. I'm, I'm valid. Have patterns. <coughs> and that's how I'm gonna end it with people have patterns. People have patterns. <laughs> If you are with an individual mm -hmm. that shows you time and time again that they're, that obviously they love you mm. and you don't feel the same way, then you need to say something sooner rather than later. Yeah. Yes. Because that is now when you get the crazy. Mm hmm. You Maybe, keep letting but, that fester and not about, saying anything. What? Well, I mean, I, I personally think that y'all was born crazy, but you know, that's me. No. Wait, what was I could that? be wrong. Born crazy, that's a fact. I am oh, not what? born crazy. Um, Lying like shit. As a human individual. There we go. Lying that's like shit. No, I don't know about that crazy shit. The only shit. times in my life that I feel that I've gotten quote unquote crazy is when I know that I was being played with. Played with. Yeah, that was good. it. That was it. Fair enough. Only times. So let me ask you this: Do you have any other advice that you would give a man in a relationship? What would Keep your tail between your fucking leg. <laughs> okay. I mean, but what if I'm supposed to? I mean, I'm, joking, I'm, joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay. That was auntie. In any relationship you've been in, right? Uh huh. What advice would you want your partner to have heard at the time to make your relationship better? Well, yeah, it would just be what I would. Was gonna say. Is there anything else? Nothing um, else. No, not keep not your tail not between there, your I'm legs. Some more. Not that, but um, I guess be more, um, be more understanding, be more open minded, be more patient because just like how you're going through shit, that other person is going through shit too. That may not be, you know, what I'm saying they may not be able to communicate. So I guess in this time just be a little patient with people give people more grace that's what i always say you know what's funny I, I i will say this i will say this as a man that there's two men sitting here on the panel i will say that as men we we have this preconceived notion that we have to be everything and we have to be the most perfect being and we have to be everything for things to work and and that kind of hinders us from being just a good-hearted individual, right? And Willa being Bari, I'm saying so. I do agree. No, shut up, Bari. <laughs> what I'm saying is, <laughs> like, <laughs> heard it, but but what I'm saying is, we don't have to be <laughs> the most perfect person. We don't have to be. The, the the most accurate depiction of a man no yeah. to be a great it man exist anyway it really and is. no 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 but it is it, it, it's a double edged sword because we no no cuz we we don't see that we don't see that, that. in that. in society or in whatever that x variable that i'm trying to think of is yeah. We don't see that, right? We see just the perfect father, the perfect individual, the perfect husband, the perfect blah blah blah. And we didn't grow up from that situation or from we we didn't grow up from those things. So it's like we're trying to be that perfect person, but we don't know where the fuck or how the fuck that person came about. So we 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 we're, we're spitballing, we're freestyling trying to be that perfect person own idea of what that even, is even you feel me like it, it, it's, it's it's just a crazy situation but i feel like just in conclusion I'm, I'm talking a lot i'm sorry but I, I feel like in conclusion if we just try to be the best form of ourselves Correct. we can make any relationship work Absolutely. and the best the best form of ourselves that. can be like listen i'm fucked up but I'm trying to be better. Right. You are a great person. You're trying to be better. Let's form both of those things and let's be better together. That's it. That's it. That's how I feel. I'm going to piggyback off of what he said. A lot of times, we uh, this is a people thing. Yeah. We, 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 we believe in potential a lot of the times. Yeah. And, and potential is not a bad thing to believe in. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Because you can see an individual. Ladies, y'all can see a man and be like, nah, 
this nigga Bari gonna be some shit or Willa, yo, he gonna be some shit. Just give him the moment to just right to shine, figure it out, mm-hmm. and he yeah. gonna be some shit. But when that happens, a lot of times I feel like when women see that in a band or people see that in a person, they believe that that person has to be that way right now. Yeah, that's true. What their potential is going to be, they be like, all right, cool. If I feel like you, this is what you're gonna be. I'm gonna hold you to that standard right now. It's like, mm. whoa, 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 whoa. I don't even know. What that what, potential right, be. right. I didn't get there yet. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not going to get there, but you have to give me a moment to get there. Yeah. And a lot of times, to piggyback on what you're saying, as a man, you want to be the breadwinner. You want to pay all the bills. You mm-hmm. want to provide all the things in the world to her. Yeah. But in, for example, New York City, it is not the easiest thing to be paying it's your not, bills and the shorty. It really isn't. You, know right. you really not, have to be making bank to do that. Right. You need six yeah. figures. Yeah. Six figures Bricks, plus to plus. be to be Brick paying pump, your bills, Brick, your short Brick, bills Brick, pump, in Brick. New York City. You know what I'm saying? So now I may be able to do that if with time, mm-hmm. right? But now because I don't have it to do right now, and you struggle, you ain't shit. See, I and, but that all ain't shit. Yeah, but yeah. because you know what, I can't do it right now. You can't just you just can't fuck with me. Oh, That's okay. fucked up. Yeah, and, I like and that. that. But you and see, that like part that. is what kills me with. That life. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The reality. I get that. No, I get it. Up, but it's just like, yo, I need you to be able to do this now. You can't do this right now. Right. I love you, but I can't fuck with you. Right. It's like, right. Right. I hear that. I get that. I hear that. And it's like, damn. Yeah. But as a man, that is and I'm willing can attest to it, you could respect it because you're like, you know what? You got shit that you got to get done and you got to do as well. So it's yeah. like, mm-hmm. Fuck, what, what what can I say to you if you was to go to the son and son was to help you with the shit that you really need to get done? And I firmly believe, like, yo, if you really truly care for someone and love someone, if you if they gotta do that to be happy, you know what? Yeah. Mm. Go ahead. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. You, you need something to blow the bag on you so you could be so you could be good and you'd be happy. You know what? Do whatever it is you do. What do you what you gotta do, my yeah, nigga. That right. shit makes me tight. It hurts my heart. But you yeah. know what? Cool. Your bills is paid. Whatever. Because I get it. Because yeah. I get it. Yeah. But now, what does that leave the other individual right. or the other man in the back end for that? It's we always- hurt, Mari. <laughs> we hurt. <laughs> We hurt. Don't arrive. Enough now. We hurt. Time is a thing, and what is to be will always be. So if that person wasn't for you, they just weren't for you, and that's just it. I no, no, I I agree. I agree. No, but I agree. That's really it, bro. I agree. I feel like that example though screams a lot of codependency that I I personally don't like as well. I know it breeds a lot of laziness. I believe. I agree for sure. And I feel like it's like okay, I understand that. You don't got the bread to be able to support me or whatever it is that I got to do. But I've, despite if, uh, outside of who, if people really just not able to work or if they don't have um, the the most, right, really, like, but if you're willing and able, strong, back strong, (laughs) you can work. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't feel like I should throw my responsibilities on you. And I don't think that a lot of women feel like that though, Ashley. I think it's more like I'm at a point where I'm making six figures plus and, and some women feel like this. I don't feel like this. Right. But some women feel like if I'm there, that I want a nigga to be there or is almost going to be there. Or even if I may not be there, but I need a man to be there, even if I'm not there. Why? Because you know what? I want to event. I want this man to, to help me to get there. But I see that, that too. I I've see that too. You know what I'm saying? But, but I, I feel, do feel like, like the women who the women who say that need to come with that business plan I was talking. But to this you is about. what I'm saying. That's <laughs> if you. <laughs> but that's only if that. you have I'm a sorry. plan because there's real women out here that course, really depend on on other niggas to be able to support them despite the fact that they and do whatever them out it is. is. What I say. Yeah. And the thing is, like, if they if you allow it, I fine. But I feel like. If the, if you're depending if you're solely making that the criteria of if me and you actually gonna deal with each other, I feel like that's shallow. Me personally, I feel like that's shallow. That's that's what I, I agree. I agree. Cause that's just the financial. I agree. Transactional but, relationship. But then it but it, what it then comes down to is 
is everything's part. transactional though. Because, right. I mean, because that's, that, that's that. saying like, that's like, saying you're that's totally saying your bar. On but that. that's well, the but hear me word. out. Hear me out. That's that's, that's saying that's saying okay. You 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 need a six figure lifestyle. I can afford a six foot six figure lifestyle. Shut the fuck. And it's not right. yes. That's what I'm saying. So it's, it's, if if you require this, and I have that, then shut the fuck up. And that's not to me. To me, that's not a good relationship. It's not. I don't think that's a terrible relationship. Toxic. Yes. So I said a while back on the show. I said women need to have a a a. a Instead of price on a pussy, you have to have value, right? Correct. Very much so. When you so. have a value, you know what I'm saying? You say, yo, you have a million dollars. What what would it take for me to be wealthy or rich to you in your eyes? A million dollars. Cool. Now I work my ass off. Save all my money. I got a million dollars. That means now I can get you. Let I me flip that for you. A million dollars, right? Okay, so let now, me let you finish. I'm going to flip that for you now. A lot of times, I feel like regardless of what we may say, think, or feel, Financial, the financial gain of a man is what's transactional for women now. I agree. Period. Yes. It don't matter how good looking I am, no matter how big my dick is, financial gain is the is the transactional thing for men that's correct. and women. Period. Yep. I don't even want nobody tell me. No, that's, that's a play. fact. <laughs> so now, if I'm not able to pay a bill, yeah, at least a bill, <clears throat> yeah. I'm not getting nowhere with you at all. So then now, where does that leave the man who has a plan? Of course, I can have a plan. Mm-hmm. I can have a plan. I, could, I have an amazing plan. I have great potential. Mm-hmm. But I can't pay a bill right now. Why? Because I'm busy worried about trying to pay my bills and yeah. pay for the plan that I have set up. Yeah. I think what we need to do is just blame the white man for everything. Ah. <laughs> And there's that. Um, <laughs> um, I, I feel it's white supremacy. It's white supremacy. Did all I will agree on that. <laughs> but Same. also, I think what this shit boils down to is um, some women not having some emotional intelligence or maturity to deal with. That's their trauma things. too. You know what I'm saying? You know, that, that's that's all I can say with that because quote, quote, me, I'm, I'm just mad understanding. I'm like, yo, niggas be going through life. Like, hello, like, I'm not the most perfect, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? But I just think, you know what I'm saying, people are just aren't emotionally mature to deal with certain shit. So it's just... I also feel like if you're dealing with a nigga that's six figure plus and we're talking about value, let me know what you're going to bring to the plate. Nice. If it's not being a stay-at-home wife or a stay-at-home woman, if we're talking about a man and a woman, then how is your business plan going to make us and me more six, more money? More successful. Still transactional, yeah. right? Of course. But how are we going to bring this shit to the next level then? Right. And that's how men need to start thinking. And I ain't talking about doing lashes. Yeah. I ain't talking about doing we lashes, ain't... selling a, a, a skincare routines. Now, and, let's and, not and, do that. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you why. And, and you know what I'm saying? We're not doing <laughs> that because you want to know why? Because a man, cause I know some men. <clears throat> I know some niggas who get to the back, right? Right. And a girl be like, yo, I want to start a business. Cool. You know what? I'll. You know what? I'm not about giving you bread to go buy a bag. I'll right. give you the bread to LLC and shit. I yeah, know a man yes. who literally, I was just on the phone with him. He gave a girl, it cost $600 to LLC. I apologize. <laughs> it cost $600 yeah. to, to, to pay to get your, your, your stuff LLC. He gave Shorty $600. Cool. What do you want to do? Shorty said, oh, I just want to, you know what I'm saying? I just want to open a... a, a a day spa. This is why you have to ask for the business plan first before you okay. make the LLC. Yeah, you can't just be tossing it. This is why. He like, so me giving you this bread and then me wanting to invest, where is it? I'm making, doing what I'm doing, yeah. making double, triple what you're talking about. So now, you want to fuck with me for real and you ask, you're asking me for my money. Right. Passive aggressively then sometimes straight up aggressively asking me for my bread. Where's the cool. camera? That's yours right All right, let me tell y'all something right now. Men, 
You want to fund your bitch business? I will take a shot for that. <laughs> Ask her for the business plan first. Where's the document? Where's the document? Do stop doing this. Because this is not the first time I've heard this shit. Honestly. Stop doing this. Yep. Where's the business plan? Get out a couple of please. Bread up, bread up. Where's the business plan? Oh, they oh. say it ain't tricking if you got it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you got it, if you want to waste money, cool. You tricking. If it's tricking, you better ask for <laughs> that but, fucking but business But you want to know what it is? This man, the, 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 I don't want to tell you business, but he's the type of dude like, yo, you know what? If 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 a young lady's talking about giving me bread and she wants bread, she wants bread, she wants this and that, you know what? I'm more of the type, you know what? I want to help you feed yourself for real. Right. Cool. You fire this, that, and the third, whatever. You know what? And this is the toxic part of it, but I don't think it's toxic. What do you think, He's, bro? in terms of the, I've always felt like it's not about fucking a girl to get her to keep, to keep her forever. It's mm. about the mental part. If you, mm, right. if I get your mind for real and I fuck your mind up, I know for a fact, it don't matter what nigga you with, you could be married, have three kids by a nigga, bail him out, whatever. If I pick up, if I call your phone. I know you're going to pick up my phone call. You will run to the fucking bathroom. Like, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know you can't be calling me right now. I'm, I'm with my... <laughs> this sounds like an actual conversation, bro. Right. <laughs> but this is real shit. Mm, so now, right. and, he, and he thinks like that, like, he thinks like me in that sense. So he's like, yo, you know what? Fuck me buying you a bag, take you on a trip. I want to make sure that I can feed you forever. Yeah. That's real. So now he and the girl mind, she's like, shit. Right. Okay, I just wanna um Yeah. Exactly. I wanna buy lashes and sell right. lashes. Right. What I said, but people have patterns. Is, you knew she was basic before. Right. Okay. That exactly. Day. You knew that. You, you knew that. For something you knew that. Yeah. You was looking for something know. else. Exactly. Right. Because you were not mad at that. that. You, you were initiating that. Something else. Else. You can't, no, no, that's unfair. That's unfair. They want to be able to 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 create something. Yo, we gotta get the fishing rod from NBA on TNT. That's what we gotta get. You a dumbass nigga. Exactly. You dumb. Because what happened is, is that, and I'm sure Melanie you can agree. You dumb as fuck. So I'm sure cool. Melanie can agree. There's men that really, all of us can, I'm sure. There's men that really. Yo, women to, are fucking women dangerous, bro. Whatever they want to create. Mm. To be able to, I don't want to say manipulate, but it no, really no, is manipulate. It is. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. What he's talk, what he's talking about doing is a form of manipulation. For yeah. Sure. No, it Absolutely. really is. But at Absolutely. the same time, you can't be mad at the fact that it backfired on you because sure you just wanted some bread and now, you really now she just really, want to sell that. Yeah. Now she just want to sell that. You can't be mad at that. And at the same time, is that a million dollars? Like, at the same really, time, you was looking at you was nah, looking for a shorty. Nah, you was looking for hey. a basic person to grow and look <laughs> no, up and create was, your personal person. Yeah. Your, create your personal was, girl for you. You thought the LLC was gonna make her like think outside the box. Ah, like, damn! Like, I, I, I got all this these fucking opportunity doors. here. What could so I do? You see, that's like she when like you fucking, fucking the hole, right? When you she, fucking the hole, you buy the house. Now you think she a housewife, right? But they always like say like that. she like lashes. She like lip gloss. That's that's just what she's doing. And there's nothing do. wrong with that. Yeah, I know some girls that's making bread, bread off it. Lashes. So you let's not. Me? I'm not hating on it. Yo, but shout my out thing to is, Antoinette because my hot lashes is on right now. <laughs> I love those okay. lashes. So, you know Thank you. So that's why I'm like, yo, I, I, it's 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 one of the things where it, it fucks with me because it's like, yo, so in a man in his position or a man in that position in the terms of transactional things financially he's only getting this love because he's able to yo you know what yes heard you watch this he's I able know. to go uh-huh. back it's so funny it's uh-huh. he's able to go so back true. and it's that's true. and that's the response you throw the back she's now, happy. and this is and this that's I'm, how they get the attention nigga. yeah this is legit my homeboy yeah the, it's a cool nigga nice yeah. nigga if y'all was to meet oh this nigga's dope he but, cool but he not smart no 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 it's not even about him not being know. smart and i'm not saying <laughs> I'm not calling a nigga dumb. I didn't say that either. That's crazy. I'm not calling a nigga dumb because now you're the type of nigga that be like, yo, I give you the 600, but then after that, you. That's crazy. You don't got it. He not. You can't hit his bond no more. You know what I'm saying? Yo, baby. Yo. Oh, so now Shorty blocked. I blocked. You just don't answer your phone call. 
Yeah. Or they answer when you feel like it. I mean, she could be black. I, I do like think it. that, and I, I know I was like joking before, but I'm dead ass. White people really got us thinking like this. Dead serious. They have us thinking that like capitalism is a real fucking thing mm. we're in america mm-hmm. and it's like you got to be on the top of the pyramid and that's when people pay attention to you yep and that's just a thing right so i just feel like we need to break all those barriers please women if you see a man that has his business plan read the business plan man it might be fire you never know 10 million dollars what was that movie we went to go see with tyler perry uh, acrimony. acrimony. See, that nigga yeah. made 10 mil. Yep. Hold it down. 10 mil. Hold Hold no, it down. actually more than 10 mil. She, he gave her 10, 10 mil. He had like a hundred. check. He and like she was vexed. She was tight. Still she was vexed. upset because she, she was wanted no the, longer a part. Right. She wanted the bigger piece of the pie. Right. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah. So, so do y'all feel like Taraji B. Henson was the wrong one in that movie? Or do you feel like he was the wrong one in that movie? I personally yeah, feel Taraji oh was wrong. Oh my gosh. I personally feel she was wrong. All right. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Acrimony is so loaded. I just want to hear who. All right. I just want to hear who. All right. So, all right. Look at Willow. Willow is mad. He is mad. He is mad. Listen, listen. Look at his Willow. Look at Willow. Look at Willow. Look at Willow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? No. First, first of all, it was a whole event because um, we saw it the day after my birthday. Yeah. Uh, we went to like, it was like. It was like it was the, the, the premiere, the, the, the premiere of the movie right. we went to. So. It was really intense. I saw Tyler Perry. I saw Taraji. I felt emotionally connected to the movie. Oh um, my God. All right. No, w- watching the movie, like, spoiler alert. If you ain't seen the fucking movie, it's that on movie the movie. The movie is the oldest shit. Uh, okay. It's, 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 right now, everybody should have seen but that shit. But watching the movie in the beginning, I was like, damn. damn. <laughs> like, it's fucked up. Yep. <laughs> like, I, I, I see why she's bitter. Like, I, I can see, but she was really bitter. You yeah, feel me? Was, she was tight. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, he kept his word. You feel he me? really did. He kept his word. But she just could not hold Wait. it down. She just could not hold it down. And, so and one side play. of me understood that, but the other side of me was like, oh, you kind of fucked up. You see, how, how I felt was this. Wait, oh, no, 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 how I felt was this. During those building foundational stages, right, she went through a lot. It was rough. Now, she had underlying mental health issues, Mm -hmm. so we don't, we can't discard that. Right. Yeah? Right. That bitch is crazy. Crazy. I said it again. Now you gotta take a shot. (laughs) No, no, no. Pull a shot. You can't make a shot. Pull a shot. Pull a shot. Pull a shot. Pull she was shot. dead crazy. I feel like I need to oh, oh, pull, no, 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 yeah, pull a shot. Oh, yeah, pull a God. shot. I have a meeting yet? Pull a shot. Anyway. <laughs> pull a shot. Pull a shot. So, you Just know, Taraj... Taraj and I'm 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 not I'm gonna take it I'm gonna take it I just I'm gonna give him a point out. Get it out. Taraj had a lot going on in the movie Melinda. She had a lot going (laughs) on in the movie, and (laughs) in those foundational stages, I can understand why somebody uh, resents the person that they're with. Right. A lot of resentment. There's a lot of resentment. resentment. Here's the thing, though. You make buku money, yeah? Buku dollars. Right. Mm. You come back, you mm. give me the 10 mil, I'm just supposed to say, yo, thank you, good looking out, I love you like a friend, done. What she do? She push. You want to bust up the people she and pushed. then you want to go on she the yacht, you want to do too she much, you doing too fucking much. She pushed. You doing too fucking she much pushed. now. You write me a $10 she, million dollar check? I gotta eat that. I eat that. I, I take the I, ten I million take dollars. I know. You know what ten mil could do for Melanie Alicia Glass you know right now? <laughs> Honestly, Plenty I wasn't even. That? I wasn't even wow. expecting him to do that because it was like, right, yeah. I'm real ass nigga. Dead ass nigga. They was a real ass nigga. He's like, you know what? Right you you know what? You held it the fuck down yeah. as, as as much as you fucking Come could. On. Hold that, because he's just as a good ass man. You feel me? His but sorry. Her fucking sorry. crazy sorry. ass. Sorry. You want to do too much. Thing. Get on right. the yacht. Here's my thing. Get on. How'd you even get on the Jeez. yacht? I still a valid question. Still don't know how you got Here's on the Here's the thing, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, this is how I feel about it. <laughs> you held it down. Leave it the top. Uh-huh. You was with him from no. day one till whatever the time. Right. He found a new show. He gave him the 10 mil. All right, cool. You bitter, you mad about it. It is okay for you to away. feel bitter Ooh, and really. mad and sad about it. It's how you take your anger yeah, and I'm your emotion and then 
project it out. You didn't have to do all that crazy shit that she did. She still, <laughs> this is me, this is me walking out laugh. the bank. She came with the trash. Yo, I'm gonna be very wait, happy. She fuck up the people that I'm dressed. That's what I said. Like, all of Showed that. Showed up at the nigga apartment. Mm. With that well, part, like you're doing well, much lingerie. Now. I just want to cock out your legs, spread out, do all this kind of stuff, and, and then when you're like, the real wife, that that sh- Dolly yeah. House. This is shot. why everything she did after the chat check is yeah, invalid. It exactly. Exactly. It's invalid because you're wild after that. She's wild this, after and that. this is why I say it, there's nothing wrong with people feeling mad about something because it is you. I can't tell you to be if mad you feel you feel about it. right. If you feel how you feel. You, all right, that's you. Away with the ten million Eat that. Check, but though. at the same time, you wow. can't take Please. your anger out on me, especially if I took care of you. I gave the ten mil because I'm a How real ass nigga, and I gave you and cut you that check. You would die. Why would bitch. you want to act ten like that? See, no. oh, again. You gotta finish that. Take oh that. my god. We gonna switch the topic, Willa. I gotta. Uh, the last topic is. How long do you wait before giving a nigga some pussy? <laughs> wow Ladies, 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 ladies This was sent to me by another young lady Who said that she just wants to know Because she dates a lot And she doesn't know when she should give up The golden juices To be honest with you, for me I feel like it's all about comfortability It's, what, it's, it's what you feel With that person at that time Because, mm-hmm. alright, you can walk in and say You know what, I'm not giving this nigga no kind of pussy I just want to date, feel his vibe The vibe is really right You guys are having an amazing time mm-hmm. You're in that moment You and him feeling whatever it is So can and this it, be off of the first date? or this is- But it could be off the first date, it could be second Whatever it is, you could just be feeling some kind of a vibe And it's like, I personally feel And I've always said this Women know who they would want to fuck on a sexual tip, like I, just strictly, I they I are agree. they automatically know that they want to fuck you. Mm-hmm. Is this that what are you are you going to give me that um, that pull? Yeah, are you going to tease me enough or entice me enough to want to fuck you? I already know I want to, but do you want me to? It's more like it's more like that kind of vibe. <laughs> so honestly, is when it comes to that, I feel like it's more so of how the man responds to the woman wherever mm. the setting is so it's more of that energy that spreads out so if and honestly we're adults now if you feel like you just want to if you feeling like you just want to give it up at that moment and y'all just in that mix fine who, who cares is if y'all want to fuck fuck but if you want to hold on to and that's just on a per if you personally right. don't want to because you don't feel comfortable to do it right now if you feel like it's going to be forceful i don't think you should do it yes. and if the if the the man or even the woman, if they're really pushing to want something and you're not in that space to want to give it up, I think you just say no, hold back. I'll. There's, and you sh- and the other person should be able to understand respect that. that. Yeah, understand that. So, it's so really- it could be. So so I'm assuming all ladies here. So you could get, not saying you, but giving up some pussy on the first day is not something that's taboo. It's not something that's no. crazy. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You couldn't give up. You can give up. I have. I, no, yeah. I, I have. <laughs> it's not taboo. It but, isn't. But my answer would be depending on the man. It like, is. Depending. Just, but basically what Ashley said, depending on the man, depending on the connection, depending on how comfortable you with, depending on the energy. Because I could, you know what I'm saying, go on the first day with some guy and we hit it off right away. And like we got good chemistry and connection's good and... Like, we're just getting along great. And if I feel comfortable enough, you know what I'm saying, with him, then that's how it's going to happen. But it could be another guy where I am I spent the whole day with him. And it's just like, uh, I don't know yet. You know what I'm saying? So like, let me ask, I can't put my finger on it. So let me, ask, let me ask. What makes you, as a lady, give a man some pussy on a first date? Like, what is it? What, what does it have to be? That he's doing that will be like, yo, you know what? I, I want this, this nigga, this nigga deserves a box tonight. Completely <laughs> honest. The times that I've done it is just because I wanted to do it. Right. It has never been anything about what yeah. he has done. Really? 
He, he, I feel he, like he, was, he it could, wasn't he about could, him moving right. His swag nope. was right. He smelled. I feel good. like nope. I feel like nope. I feel like okay. what he can do. Like if I'm yeah, attracted I mean, to him, is gonna add on to it, of course. But I also feel yeah. like those things yeah. are your standard. Like yeah. come to the date, look great. Like that's how yeah, I feel. Look great. Because like, I'm gonna come look at my I'm best. So of course, come look at your best. Off the ba -ba -ba -ba, but if I wanted to do it, like you know what I'm saying. So you already. So what I'm saying. Okay. So what I'm getting, and I could be wrong. Yeah. So. From the moment that you, before you even left him, you in your head, you was probably like, "This is get, what I'm I saying." I might get this nigga some pussy tonight. Meaning, before you even, even before, him, yeah. Or is it one of those things where, on the date, you like, you know what, he gonna get some pussy. That's what I'm saying. So because if it's on the date, for me, isn't it something he for did? Me, I think it's on the date. So it's yeah. for me on the date. On the like, date, okay, so I might give him some pussy. Did? So that, that's what I'm saying, isn't it? Doesn't it? It's not. It's me, not something. Let me track back in I don't time. think it's for me. Oh, it's not really. anything specific. <laughs> it's just how I feel on that date. Like if so I feel me. like shit is going good, like we like I'm I'm big on energy. Like I'm probably an empath on, on the low. You know what I'm saying? But I like if I feel like the energy is great, like I, we kicking it off. So that's can, still something he conversation. did. Conversation. No, or am I bugging? I, it's, I, don't, I can't even like say, oh, something he did. Like I like, I don't think you can really. It's put not like something specific. It. It's just it's how just, I feel with that guy. Like if I feel that comfortable share. with him, like, yo, like I, I would want to do this again. Like, I don't you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I don't I don't mind giving it to him. That's just that's just me. I don't know how every woman works. I'm a different type of woman. But if I feel comfortable with him and like I'm horny and I want to do it. Then it's gonna happen. Amen. The thing that again with the, the the comfortability of it is like, and then also for me, it's like one thing that I personally feel that if someone could laugh with me laugh. instead of laugh with me, that's one thing that I'm just like, oh, okay, that you understand my my sense humor, humor or right, right, my sense of humor, and that you can just make a butt of joke of here and there. Sometimes there's a lot of people that it's either a hit or miss. Even if it's some regular little corny joke, like right. put the banana in the tailpipe, kind of bullshit. But it's like, <laughs> <laughs> like even little dumb shit like that. But if when me and you could be able to laugh together mm. off the rip, I'm like, yup, I'm gonna suck his dick. <laughs> Let's see how this night goes. Let's see if he can make hee-ha, like, some, some more. Wow. Some, yeah, honestly, and then sometimes it could be, like, some, a, like some, a moment of, like, eye contact. When it's yeah. Like, Ooh, it's the, the pheromones is burning. burning. Not even smizing. He, 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 he's just he's looking smizing. He's looking at you, bro. Like, right. he ain't doing the nothing extra. The is really on Just looking at you. Like, not doing nothing he's extra. Smizing. It's no smizing. Why are you it's making no your eyes smizing. so big, nigga? Why are you nigga? smizing? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you smiling? And flirt your nose up models. Like, I'm, I'm not dating no models. I'm dating real niggas out here. I'm gonna look at you like, it's no. something wrong with your face. We're not dating models. We're, we're dating real niggas, no, right? They're not smiling. Bar no, I'm asking if there's something in his nose. <laughs> there's something wrong with his oh. face. Some <laughs> sick. It could, it could be a look. Right. It could be a conversation. It, it could be a connection y'all made. It could be like, oh, you like that? It, it could be anything. But if you just feel comfortable with that person and you fuck with them and you, and, 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 you know what I'm saying? And and you want the pee, and then you're going to get the pee. Hopefully. In times I've had it happen. In my way, way past. <laughs> way, way past. Mm -hmm. It it was i felt like of course the comfortability had to be there for sure yeah always that's without a doubt but i felt like and like i said i can be wrong i feel like as a man you had to have done i had to have done something to say hey you know what i warranted or i was worthy enough for this pussy at the moment right. so I'm like yo you know what this nigga is so nice or yo this nigga is so this or this thing is so smooth or this thing is so cool he's so funny i'm gonna give this thing some pussy you know what i'm saying yeah and and, and, and make like i said i can be wrong 100 percent. so i, I really have an answer for that wrong. i have an answer for that you know for i i guess uh i would say recently because we're single you know um <laughs> it i would say uh i guess the for lack of better word, connection? I don't know. It was just like, um, we would, I'm a music head. Mm -hmm. And that person is... Into is music. A, yeah, big music head. And 
this is just my little music for itself. But like when you when you fucking with somebody that's also a music head, y'all just gonna dive into music like it's fucking books. You feel me? Like y'all just playing shit. And right, it was just right, right. it was just that moment. I was just like, he gonna get some. It's the connection. I like it. <laughs> it was just that, that like music. some simple simple like that. But that's me. You feel me? I'm a big music person. Like if you're yes. not a fucking music person, like you can't talk to me. That's just it. Like that's just where I'm at in my in my okay. level. But it could be something simple as that. It it don't have to be anything like yeah. crazy. Honestly, it, don't even look too deep in it. Deep right. It. it really could be just the simple fact of. We're having a regular conversation, and I feel like you're actually listening to me. Mm. You and give me that, some pussy. I can give you some pussy. Right. So it really that. could <laughs> be. It <laughs> really could. A, it's I'm the a, simplest I'm a, I'm shit. A, I'm gonna wait. We, we go thirty second time on that. <laughs> that right, fellas. It don't got shit to do with you. Did you could just say you could say let a vowel a e i o u sometimes. Not that wow. simple. That's not what I said. We're not. It's not that <laughs> simple. Cause that's some basic <laughs> bullshit. You don't listen to me. You can't get you some pussy. pussy. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> you like you're the lucky winner of some that's pussy. Not. I mean, if you say no. the vowel right. No. <laughs> if you say the vowel right. Ah. <laughs> uh, I mean, if a the girl is a, is a is amazing, amazing. I want to wow. give you that pussy. Oh, wow. And sometimes, why? Wow. I'm saying, that could be it. Oh, I know. Ah! That's what it is. That'd be my twin. Yes. That's hilarious. Yes, 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 yes. And real quick, I want you to, you got two seconds. How do y'all feel about Shakari Richardson? Two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. I'm rocking with her. I'm so upset about it. I'm rocking with her. Let her run. Let her run. I mean, she ain't running, so. I mean, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know, but. That is, she better luck like next uh, Olympics, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm, I'm yeah, with her there. Her name off, so. Um, Over the next one? For this year. This year. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. so maybe. Uh, hey. uh, I just feel, you know, I just, just feel like this. lay off the weed soon before. I just, now. Sis, right. going, she's I just smoking it like way this. more now. You I'm telling you that. that part. You knew the. <laughs> I just feel like this. You know the qualification. Yeah, you did all of that. So you take the account. You take the account for that. She took responsibility for it. Like now, but at the same it's a, time, but it's I don't think like this should not be, be the stipulation. Yeah. You know yeah. It should not you be. That shouldn't be like. Damn, you're out the Olympics. Like an end all be all. I don't. I feel like that's very selfish. And we gonna end it here. Plus, they, they're doing a whole lot of attack to um, brown and black with the whole swim swimwear and the yeah, whole cap. That part, that's we're a not whole matter of nonsense. So it's like, get it, it sounds like a personal yeah, attack you to me. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to leave it at this. Hey, Willis falling asleep. Because yeah, this nigga is finished. We're not paying that no money. How did you, how did you get here? I'm going to end it here. Because I said it as a joke. I say, yo, she did, she fucked up, so she got to take the L. But the only reason I said that is because I bet on, I made a bet with somebody on Jamaica winning um the 100, the 200, and the <laughs> Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I want Jamaica to win, but as a competitor, I don't, I don't want to win like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But regardless of that, Michael Phelps was caught. Bomb. Smoking a bomb. With a whole blood clot bomb. You see the video. That man, you see and, the evidence. And that man was allowed to race. Justice. And he, he, and he still won the belt, okay? Gold, Justice. Gold medal he earned. Winning. Winning. He earned every single gold medal he won. I'm not taking none of them gold medals. Right, the nigga can swim like a dolphin. That boy's a fish. Right. A real fish. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like Michael Phelps. He but cool. he was smoking up whole bong. He, and he owned it. He didn't lie, fight it. He right? wasn't like, oh, it wasn't me. He, he said, was in I, the video. He did the same thing Shorty did. He said, yo, fam, that's me. I smoked the bong. I apologize 110%. Cool. You know, all right, white boy, go ahead. Go swim. Shorty said, yeah, my mom died. Right. That's what I was about to say. Like, I, took he... a, I took a poll because mom Dukes passed. I right, 30 days suspended. You know, 30 days in... In detention. What? That's what I was gonna say. Matter that's fact, fuckery. You, you know you what? what? You, he never tested positive. I was literally just about to say that when she how, never tested positive. He no, never tested positive. But, but how we test know that? I don't trust that. That's niggas. bullshit. I, so I do believe that he never tested positive. I don't trust but that. I just. Here's the thing, and it's not a nice truth, but, but it's just the truth. Yeah. You might have to edit the Olympics this out when you get the pen and paper. Uh-huh. Is a wild the Hunger Games? Oh yeah, my yeah, god! Yeah, yeah. And we should not even be supporting that shit. I, I like that. Thing. I'm gonna keep it a bug like with you. Thing. I said the other day that 
I feel like if every single black person was to boycott the black, the Olympics, say that it would change the spectrum of just that. like how the black dancers boycotted TikTok. Now, oh, come on, come on, let's talk about it. And all ain't, that ain't no coordinated. Culture, bro. Ain't no dance. They still oh, trying to. Oh, when Wait. remember when the NBA boycotted with George Floyd? Yes. And no. I mean, for, for a day, but yeah. cool. But they did it. They did it. I'm saying, them, but once them. again. We wish you, Shakari Richardson, we wish you. With you, sis. Love it, like. Black Good people make the culture. Life. We do this. Good stuff for Shakari. You already know. Jamaica still was going to win regardless. That means they was going to win. Shout out to J.A. But <laughs> we still with you, sis. You know what I'm saying? We want to be the Punta West Indian. Love, love it, but love it, like. Stop. You done, no, no. Noah? You yeah, zimmy. Because right. we was still. Like, you want me, hey, you want me $50. That's a bad joke. I can't say that. <laughs> ah! Fine. But once again, thank you for watching on the Wednesdays. Willa is sleep, but please Nigga like and share, done. subscribe. Love your wills. All that shit. We Listen, the ladies of the girls we podcast. We got <laughs> Ashley. Say your Instagram for me real quick, please, 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 please. please Ashley zero eight zero six. Cool, Ryan. Tell me that. Tell me Instagram. Bollywood Jones. Come on now, and Mel, tell him, please. Call me Mel G. And if you need brand strategy, social media strategy, Ooh. campaign, photo Ooh. shoots at Vibrary Creative. Ooh, Ooh. black owned businesses. You heard, you heard, you heard. Ooh. Also, Willa got some music shit coming out. Huh? <laughs> some sleep. music he shit. Sleep somewhere. He Wake can't up. Wake up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Also, amazing. Say shout out to Wait, Wait. Hey, I got you. I got your shout week coming next week. You heard? I got it coming. <laughs> okay. But no, I really want to give these ladies a the shout best. out. These are my, these are my homies for real. Yes. We love you guys. Saying they, 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 they answered the call. We called them. They answered, and 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 you've been getting on me specifically for not bringing some ladies on the show because they've been calling us toxic and misogynistic. Oh, mm. well, we ain't the regular type of ladies, delivery. so let's see it's the delivery. the reaction. Mm. But you know, it's funny because I actually listened back to our first episode when we when we were on um, y'all podcast. Yo. Even though, yo, yo. <clears throat> no way, even though we yo, didn't get yo. nothing accomplished on that first episode, <laughs> not, not a shit. Not y'all yet. should really listen to that episode because fuckery. It's great. But at the same time, our response is legit. You guys did say that we are not the typical females in terms of our thought process are woman. open you heard you that, for that. <laughs> you heard that you woke up for that a that's a fact i'm, I'm a, a woman. woman not a female I'm not an animal mm. yeah but i'm a human <laughs> but listen you see why i love, I love these ladies. <laughs> <laughs> i love them but get on my goddamn nerves yes and he okay. loves that so once again thank you like to subscribe Subscribe, share, follow all these beautiful ladies on Instagram, support black businesses, and we out. Peace, love, and hate you, y'all. Bye. Bye. Love, don't hate. <laughs> That's my slogan. It is. It is. Yeah. Damn. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willa Wednesdays. We love and appreciate thanks, the support. Thanks, thanks. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications. Mm-hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.